Want to speak real Chinese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at ChineseClass101.com. Hi, 大家好，我是李嫣如。Hi, everyone. My name is Yin Ru Li. In this lesson, we'll talk about some of the most basic and essential social expressions in Chinese. Social expressions are phrases and things we say in social situations. For example, thanking someone for what they've done for us, or apologizing to someone for things we have done to them. And、um, actually, one of the most mostly used English social expression I personally find very useful is "excuse me." You know, we can use "excuse me."、Um, Before we have to interrupt someone or even make, you know, apologies. Well, I've been trying to find the exact phrase for "excuse me" in Chinese, but I have failed because there is just no one phrase in Chinese that would catch all like "excuse me" would. So to say "excuse me" in Chinese, it really depends on the social context. For example, when we have to get someone's attention, like in a restaurant, right?、Um, We would say "excuse me" in Chinese, but in this case, a very polite way to say it is simply say "ni hao," like you say "hello." So "ni hao" can be used, you know, to catch someone to get someone's attention, and then you tell them what you want. "Ni hao," 我要这个这个 I want this and this. Okay, so、um, this is the first way. The second way is when we have to interrupt someone.、Um, in this case, we would say. 打扰一下，打扰 means to interrupt or to disturb, and 一下 literally means a bit, okay, or or a sec. So,、um, 一下 is often used after verbs in in spoken language, colloquial language to soften a command. So, 打扰一下 is like to say, "Ah,、oh, can I excuse?、Uh, can I interrupt you for a sec?" 打扰一下 Now, many times when we say "excuse me," it's because we have a question. We want to ask something or someone for something.、Um, there is one phrase that's very common in China. We use this phrase before asking a question, and this phrase is "qing wen." Qing wen qing means please, and wen means ask. So "qing wen please ask" is actually used to say,、um, "May I please ask." Or can I ask you a question? So you can say, 请问，请问厕所在哪里 Excuse me, where's the bathroom? 请问这个多少钱 Excuse me, may I ask how much this is? So very useful phrase. 请问 to ask questions. Now the last one, 请等一下 Okay, literally means please wait a bit. You know, we we know 请 means please and 一下 Means a bit, so 请等 the verb 等 means to wait. So 请等一下 is to have someone to wait up a sec. Okay, 请等一下 Okay, these are a few different ways to say excuse me in Chinese. Well, actually, in most cases, I think it's not necessary to respond to these excuse me's. But well, if you feel like responding, or if the other person who asks you、um, is not really saying what they have to say, you can you can keep the conversation going by saying, "Zamala, zamala." Literally means what happened? What's the matter? Well, it's actually、um, it's like saying, "Yes, how can I help you?" Zamala. It's a pretty、uh, common. Phrase and it can be used in formal and informal situations, so it's a good one to have. 怎么啦 Yes, what is it? 怎么啦 Okay, so this is how to say excuse me or how to and how to respond to it if you feel like it. Okay, next let's look at how to say thank you and how to respond to thank you. Well, I'm sure many of you already know that <laughs> thank you in Chinese is 谢谢 Xie xie. Yes, this is the most common way to say thank you in Chinese. Xie xie. Well, here I'm gonna teach you a little trick. <laughs> so to make your thank you a little bit more sincere, a little more heartfelt, you can add ni after xie xie. So xie xie ni. Xie xie ni is like saying、oh, thank you, really thank you. 
and uh, as opposed to xie xie sometimes feel like okay it's thanks it's like something you have to say so to avoid that you can add ni after xie xie to make a very sincere you know thank you xie xie ni okay now when someone says xie xie or xie xie ni to you can respond by saying first bu yong xie bu yong xie okay bu means not or no, yong means need in this case, and xie means to thank. So bu yong xie is to say, oh, no need to thank me. You're welcome. Bu yong xie. Okay. The second way to say you're welcome is bu ke qi. Again, bu means not. Ke qi. Well, ke qi is a little hard to translate. Ke means guest. Ke qi is like to be to uh, act or treat like a guest, which means too many um, formalities or too formal too courteous okay like putting some distance between you and me so no need for any of these formalities okay you're welcome don't mention it now next let's look at how to say sorry how to make apologies there are three common ways to say sorry in chinese first one is 对不起, 对不起。she literally means ah, I, I can hardly face you okay because you know because something I've done that's terribly wrong that's I feel really bad about so Dubuti is a pretty serious pretty strong apology that's why I put three bars next to it Dubuti is a pretty strong apology Dubuti. okay uh, next it's Buhao Yisi. Buhao is in comparison, it's a little lighter, it's a little more casual. So Buhao is literally means to feel uh, embarrassed. So I feel embarrassed for something I've done or I feel embarrassed for something I'm going to do to you. So Buhao is, it's a little more casual, a little lighter apology than Duibuqi. Uh, now next, Bao qian is also a very common way to make apologies. Well, it can be used in like serious apology, like as a very serious apology or a, a lighter one. So it's really a personal preference. And I would say people in Taiwan probably use Bao qian more than people in mainland China. Okay, now um, if someone says sorry to you and you want to assure them it's okay, it doesn't matter, it's okay. And there are also a couple different ways. First is measure. Measure literally means no issue, no big deal. Measure, don't worry about it. Okay. Also, actually, measure can um, be used to respond to thank you as well. Okay. 谢谢, uh, measure. It's like thank you, no problem. Measure. Okay. A pretty useful expression. Measure. And another way to say is it's okay. It's 没关系. 没关系 means it doesn't matter. It's okay, no worries. 没关系. All right, now let's go over these expressions one more time. Um, ways to say, excuse me, first is 你好. 你好, we can use it to get people's attention. 你好. 打扰一下, can I interrupt you a little bit? 打扰一下. 请问, may I please ask to ask a question? 请问 and 请等一下 Hey, please wait up for a sec 请等一下 and 怎么了? Yes, what is it? How can I help you? 怎么了? And um, two ways to say thank you 谢谢 谢谢 and 谢谢你 不用谢 不客气 both, means, both mean you're welcome and three ways to say sorry 对不起, yes, 对不起, this is a serious one. And 不好意思, still sorry, but not as, you know, as strong. 不好意思, and 抱歉, kind of in between, 抱歉. And um, it's okay, we can use 没事儿, or 没关系, 没事儿, 没关系. In the next section, let's take a look at how we can use these um, social expressions in real life situations. Now, in an apartment building laundry room, a young man is putting his laundry, uh, putting his clothes in a washer, but he stopped. And here's how the dialogue goes. 先生, 请等一下. 怎么了? 
and the man who stopped the young man <laughs> explains that the washer he was going to use is actually out of order. So the man, the young man thanks the neighbor. And here's how their dialogue goes. 谢谢你,不客气. Okay, now the young man found a washer that actually works. So he puts his clothes in and closed the washer door, but it makes a loud noise. So he apologizes. And here's how he does it. 不好意思,没事. Okay, very simple dialogue. Let's look at them one by one. First, 先生,请等一下. First word, 先生. 先生 means Mr. or Sir. So we use 先生 to address someone whose name we don't know. Of course, it's a male. 先生, 请等一下. We know 请等一下 means please wait a bit for a bit. Wait for a sec. 请等一下. And the response is, 怎么啦? What is it? What's going on? What happened? 怎么啦? Okay, and next is um, saying thank you and how to respond to thank you. They use 谢谢你 and 不客气, thank you, you're welcome. And the third dialogue is to make apology because he feels bad that he makes a loud noise. Okay, actually some of Chinese don't really care for that, but I guess this is a very polite neighbor. So he apologizes by saying 不好意思 and the response is, ah, 没事, don't worry about it, no issue. Okay, now let's look at a few more scenarios uh, uh, as a way to practice, okay? Um, let's say you are in a restaurant and you want to ask the waitress for a spoon. So you get, you get the waitress attention, waitresses attention by saying, you can say, Ni hao. Yes, this is a good one. Ni hao. Ni hao, you have a Hello, do you have a spoon? Ni hao, you have a Okay, next, let's say you are meeting a client. You're supposed to meet the client at 2, but it's now 2.30. Of course, it's, it's, it's really late. Even by Chinese standard, it's like 30 minutes. So you make an apology by saying, 对不起, yeah, in this case, you probably should use 对不起. 对不起, 我迟到了, I'm late. 对不起, 我迟到了. Okay, the third one, your friend uh, brings you a gift from her trip back home. So you take the gift and you thank her by saying, 谢谢, or 谢谢你, 谢谢. I like it a lot. I like it very much. Now let's review. Do you remember how to say excuse me to get someone's attention? Ni hao. Ni hao. And how to say excuse me when you have to interrupt someone. Da Do you remember how to say excuse me before you ask a question? Ching wen. And how to say excuse me to have someone wait up for a second? 请等一下, 请等一下. Do you remember how to say yes after someone gets your attention? 怎么了? 怎么了? Now do you remember how to say thank you? 谢谢, 谢谢. And how to say thank you in a slightly more sincere way. 谢谢你。谢谢你. Do you remember how to say you're welcome as in no need to thank me? 
不用谢，不用谢。And how to say welcome as in no need for any formalities. Bu ke qi. Do you remember the strongest way to say sorry? Dui bu qi. And the more colloquial way to say sorry. Bu hao yi si. Bu hao yi si. How about a third way to say sorry? Bao qian. Bao qian. Do you remember how to say it's okay as in no big deal? Mei shi. Mei shi. And how to say it's okay as in it doesn't matter? 没关系，没关系。Well done. In this lesson, you've learned essential Chinese social expressions. That's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching. I'm Yin Ru, and I'll see you again on ChineseClass101.com. 再见。Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.